Well, Professor, you better get used to it, because with Logan Spectrum in our timer, we can pretty much land anywhere within a 400-mile range. Yeah, it was bad enough when it was same place, different dimensions. Now this, I mean, how do we know for sure that this is Hollywood? Rembrandt. So that says Hollywood. I mean, for all we know, this could be Fresno on this world. All right, look, we got about 18 and a half hours before we can create any more urban legends. We need to check out the lay of the land, and I don't recognize this town. Beautiful Fresno, California. Being a military brat, this was one of my many hometowns. And I think there's a hotel this way. Fresno's beautiful. I wrote a book. What's wrong? Well, see, I was dating this woman. And during the play, she sent me a text message. She dumped me and she's moving to Fresno. Hi. Hi, it's good to have you back. And you look fantastic. I do like your hair like that, honey. What do you, what do you call that style? Psycho chic. <laughs> it's the same look Anne Hache had when they picked her up in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> or how about the Fresno floater? <laughs> Yeah. All I know is my mother's visiting her sister in Fresno this weekend, so I get the big bed. One way or another, I'm getting me some pail. If Nicole was like the state of California, do you see yourself spending more time up in San Francisco or down in San Diego? I see myself in Fresno. What? <laughs> What the hell is going on here? Ah, uh, uh, well, we definitely weren't gonna have a threesome with your baby nurse. I told you not to even think about it. And by the way, my mom is from Fresno. <laughs> hey, how about we just keep this whole Nicole thing between us? Yeah, no problem. I mean, you don't tell someone you almost went to Fresno. <laughs> Marianne's been lying to me since the day we met. She didn't grow up in Vermont. She's from Fresno. So I guess growing up in the wet bag section of Fresno wasn't that bad. It was... You mean Mexicans? <laughs> Depends if they're working for you or not. Have you seen Holly? I think she's living up in Fresno now, but I haven't spoken to her since so she went off to college and he went off to get the tattoo. Ah. <sighs> Lisa Barnes grew up in Fresno, moved to the Miracle Mile area of L.A. in 98, married in 99. Somewhere in the next year, she picked up a meth habit. Her husband reported her missing in 2000. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Your sister disappeared over a weekend. Rita didn't disappear. Her business trip to Fresno got cut short, and she came home early. And she found Aaron, her husband, in the barn with another woman. What did I tell you? Flo's Beauty Salon, Fresno. Well, I just can't believe it. Six months ago in Fresno, Wilbur Fenwick met and married this girl, known to him as Nikki. In his case, too, it was a whirlwind courtship. Whereupon, she promptly proceeded to take him for every dollar he had. And Fenwick had quite a few. So what do you want, a house like everybody else's? The house in the magazine need... wasn't like everybody else's. I designed that house for a Fresno lawyer with four kids. This house is for you. Sure. What if I have to get rid of it? Oh, it's okay, Robbie. I promise you, Drake and Josh are going to build you a brand new tree house. Say what? Right now? <laughs> you heard her. Well, we are driving up to our cottage in Fresno for the weekend. Uh, <laughs> did you boys rebuild it? Tomorrow? Whoa, the Dorfman's got to hit the road. Yes, we have a long drive to Fresno. Right, for the Raisin Parade. We haven't missed the Raisin Parade in 12 years. Oslotis has a scab on his chin. <laughs> Is this the morning bus to Fresno? Thorndike, this little car goes so fast, we need three people inside just to hold it on the ground. Well, you certainly picked the right crew. Toodaloo. Break a leg, Thorndike. Our third runner-up
Miss Fresno, <laughs> Leslie Anderson. <laughs> Leslie Anderson. <laughs> <laughs>